Okay, release technique for your adductors. Your adductors, adductors, are on the inside of your leg. There's five adductors that make up the adductor group, uh, the long and the short. The common areas for trigger points are normally just above the knee, sort of this portion of your thigh, and then the short adductors, which are right up. I mean, they butt right up towards your pubis, yeah, and they come across off the pubic tubercle across into here, okay? So when treating these, I sort of tend to recommend only to do it as a static release. Uh, they are tender, yeah, quite uncomfortable to do. So doing it uh, active is also a bit complicated but static seems to work best for them. And I would start with a roll, a foam roll. You can progress to a spiky ball, but I'd always start with a foam roll. You need quite a broad surface initially, because it can be quite uncomfortable the first few times you do this. I'm gonna do my left hand up, I'm gonna see if I can fit on this couch to do it. She do need a bit of space. And what I'm gonna do is drop the ball. So I'm going to lie on my front, I'm doing my left, so I've got my left knee bent and up to the side, okay? And then I'm going to place my foam roll under my um, left leg. <laughs> That's a leg, well done. Awesome anatomy here. Okay, and I'm rolling the inside of it, okay? But I'm going to try and get my pelvis as square as possible, and then I'm going to roll up the inside of my leg and back. If I move this longer in a bit more so I can go all the way up into my groin. Yeah, it's now clearly I would be on the floor. My leg wouldn't be hovering into space like this. Yeah, but on the floor and just rolling up and down. And I'm looking for the most tender points. Then on me, I'm obviously not special. I've got something very painful, probably about a palm's width up from the knee and right up in the groin there again a second quite tender point so what i do is i'll treat both of those so i've gone on to the first one and then i'm going to get myself as comfortable as possible because I, what i want my body to do is relax i don't want to fidget or twitch or be on my phone i'm going to have my face flat down with my head on my hands and have my pelvis as flat as I possibly can, and I'm just going to relax like so. And then you would just hang out there for 30 seconds up to two minutes to see if you get dissipation in pain or a feel a muscular release. So let's say that's gone, great, but let's say we get to two minutes and it hasn't, I'm just going to leave it alone and I'm going to go to the other one. So I had two, so I'd go all the way up to the groin and then I'd do that one. Same thing, relax down, 30 seconds to two minutes, see if it dissipates, yeah? And I go back to the other one, I do each one two to three times, so that would be, three would be my absolute maximum if I haven't gone. I won't do more than three, because it, A, it's uncomfortable, and B, I just don't want to aggravate it too much. Um, there it is. So let's say, you know, I've done that a few times, so I'm quite comfortable with how I'm doing it. So I would progress myself onto a ball and it's the same thing. I'm coming on the inside of this knee and I'll be rolling up. But the good thing about the ball now, because, because I'm familiar with the feeling and I'm more confident in my technique, is that one in the groin, you can get a ball. The couch is too soft for this to be effective. It needs to be a hard surface. But you can imagine, I can get that ball all the way up into the crease of my groin there and then relax onto that and treat from there, okay? When I say crease of the groin, let me be careful with that. You're only treating the muscular tissue, okay? You're not actually coming in to that crease. You just sat on the tissue just before it. Uh, that's where you put the meniscus and that's quite prone to needing treating. Okay, so just go with it, see how it feels. If you feel anything sharp, you know, get familiar with the pain at the bottom of your knee, 
If it's similar pain at the top, great. If it's sharp, if it's tingling, if it's burning, then move off, okay? Because there are nerves and arteries and things which run through that area. So if it's a strange pain, if it's not a familiar roller pain, just move off it and go somewhere else.